The man touched by the same vision as the Wright brothers, Bert Rutan. I had a model airplane background, and I found that, yes, indeed, it is possible to build your airplane in your garage and go out and fly it. And I somewhat stumbled on this method of moldless composite construction, not really knowing whether they would be acceptable ways to produce airplanes. I was able to produce an airplane in three months. That was the big breakthrough. From then on, I realized, my gosh, if I can build an airplane in three or four months, no reason why I can't, over a couple of years, uh, develop and test four or five or six configurations. The most significant thing was not just the stall-limiting canard aerodynamics. I think the reason that I've been called a pioneer is that in 20 years I've developed, flight tested, flown over 20 different types of airplanes. Using the composites primarily as a shortcut so that I can build a wing this week instead of taking months to tool it and weeks to build it. Rutan created Voyager, that most remarkable of aircraft, designed to circle the world without landing or refueling. Like the early pioneers, he brought the edges of the unknown and the impossible a little closer. I didn't invent a new technology or a new material for Voyager. I stuck my neck out and applied it without asking myself, gee, isn't that too dangerous? Or won't that maybe not work? Well, of course, it's dangerous as hell to make an airplane that if we'd have had the little bit of turbulence out of takeoff, we'd have lost the airplane crew. And uh, if I'd have added 2 or 3% more weight to it, it'd have gone off the end of the runway in flames. I think the world of aviation will uh, gain from me mostly inspiration. The fact that a few people, literally in a garage or a small shop, built an airplane that doubled an absolute distance record, flew all the way around the world, flew through all this weather, and came back home safely. The fact that that was done on all composite, without mixing metals, without solving all these stupid problems that the engineers make for themselves, that will provide the inspiration that, my God, it, it can be done. We're going to do it. We'll stick our necks out. I knew how the Wright brothers felt when they came upon these things and, and had success. <laughs> <laughs> 